In this video, I'm taking a look at the IRIX 45mm Cine lens. We are going to see the tech specs, the details, the build quality, assembly footage of this lens, what is a Cine lens, if it can hold up on a gimbal, and of course, at the end, you will see my opinion and if I recommend it or not. So, pick up your favorite snacks if you want to drink something, coffee if it's morning right now, beer if it's night or whatever is the drink of your choice, and let's start. We'll start first with what is a cine lenses. For those of you who don't know what a cine lens is, cine lenses or cinema lenses are designed to meet the specific demands of filmmaking. The basic characteristics of cinema lenses are the mode gears for follow focus and focus motors, the smooth operating manual focus system with a big number of degrees of focus range that gives a lot of control and precision. They have T stops instead of F stops and if you want to know the difference just in a quick way is that with the T stop you know exactly how much light it gets into the lens when we change into different lengths. Cine lenses have exceptional image quality, sturdy build, internal zoom control, and usually high price and value. The Arix Cine Lens series has five different focal lengths at the moment, but they're expanding. So we have the 11mm, the 15mm, the 30mm, which is new, the 45mm that we see on this video, and the 150mm macro. So let's continue now with the Irix 45mm Cine Lens. Before we start with all the blah 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 about the lens, what do we say to go and see some sailor footage? sharp. It's a very sharp modern cine lens that has a very unique character to it. And this is something that I noticed from the first day that I put it on the A7S III. The focal length is on a very sweet spot between the 35 and the 50 mm. The 50 mm, as you all know, is the nifty 50. It's what our eyes usually see when they watch real life. The lens is available in the most popular mounts, Sony E, Canon RF, Nikon Z, Leica, Canon EF, REPL and Micro Four Thirds. It has nine rounded aperture blades that offers a great quality, smooth bokeh and a very well adjustment between T1.5 and T22 with very low focus breathing. The markings are very clear, both visible on both sides of the lens easy to see from the operator or the focus puller, engraved into the barrel with white UV color making them easy to see even at night. The front filter thread is 86mm and you have the option to get from IRIX a variety of different filters like ND or pollution filter which I have to admit it does a really good job in the colors at night. But of course keep in mind here that when you add filters like the light pollution filter and you are at night and you have lights or the cars are approaching you might see some uh, destructive flares on it, but this is not on the lens, it's on the filters like usually happens. All of the IRIX lenses from the series have 95mm front diameter to use for matte boxes. The lens also has a magnetic hood that uh, you can use to avoid flares, but if you're gonna use a Cine lens, probably I don't think you're gonna need the hood. Like every Cine lens, it has standardized 0.8 pitch mode gears and has a reliable construction with rubber seals placed in all crucial points, making it safe to shoot with rain or dust. With the lens, you will also get a lens support foot, which can be placed on either top or bottom of the lens to work best with your rig. And now that you just saw the footage, let me know in the comments down below what is the correct way to place the lens mount. Is it as I place it or should I turn it upside down? Because honestly, I don't know. What I enjoyed the most with this lens is that when you see it for the first time, you say, whoa, this is a very big lens, so it must be heavy. And I was surprised when I found out, when I touched it, that 
It's not that heavy. Aluminium and magnesium alloy construction and housing weigh only 1.1 kilo. So you can be rest assured that you're not gonna have any problems shooting handheld with it or you're not gonna have any problems putting it on a gimbal as well. As you can see, I used it with the Zion Crane 2S without any problems and also with the full focus motor, you can control with the wheel, you know, and all the great stuff, the focus as well. The focus ring has some nice resistance with 180 degrees focus throw to infinity and the aperture ring is smooth. IRIX have designed a rotatable ring with a cutout that you can position where your follow focus ring is, which leaves space for those gears to run without any problems. The bokeh on this lens is very nice and round, as you can see right now in your screen. I can't say that I found any good amount of flare using this lens, even shooting at directly to lights or to the sun. The lens doesn't suffer from any focus breathing and this is something that you should expect from a cine manual lens. However, not on a cine lens on this price point. Usually the internal focus system is something that you find into more expensive lenses like the Ari Signature Prime and not in cine lenses on this price point. So I have to give a huge congrats to Irix for having this feature on this lens. One of the unique characters and feels that this lens gives is that you get diffused and soft highlights. The IRX 45mm Cine lens is almost distortion free in the corners. The lens is very sharp even at T1.5, something that you don't usually find on Cine lenses on this price point. And of course as we go up T2.8, T4, T11, the sharpness and the quality is getting even better. Wrapping up, this is a pretty fantastic lens. The image is nice and sharp and for the money, I don't know any lens that can do the things that this lens can do. The question now, do I like it? Definitely yes. Do I recommend it? Depends. And let me explain. If you are ready to join into the world of the cine lenses, then it's one of the best purchases that you're gonna make. But if the style of the videos that you create is focused on the autofocus and you need to have autofocus into your lens, then as you can understand, this is a manual lens, so it's not gonna work for you. As a disclosure, Eric sent me this lens to review on the channel. However, they didn't pay me to say anything. So everything on this video is my honest opinion. And let me share with you one more thing. As you can see on this channel, you don't see pretty often gear reviews. And the reason for that is that if I don't like a product, if I don't actually use a product, I'm not gonna share it here with my audience. So rest assured that when you see a gear review on this channel, it's something that I use it, I like it, and I recommend it. If you are interested to get this lens, you will find links in the description of this video down below. Thank you so much to IRIX for sending me this lens to review. Thank you for watching and waiting in the comment section down below. I'm Emilio and I will see you in the next video.